Good evening, one and all. I, Dr. Jeshri Hazarika, on behalf of the Department of English, Faculty of Media Studies and Humanities, Mana Rashna International Institute of Research and Studies, would like to welcome you all to the third day of the seventh day International Virtual Faculty Development Pro Program on Mastering the Craft of Teaching, organized by the Department of English at FMEH in association with Cape Comorin Trust and Lavender Literary Club India. I would request all the participants to keep their mics on mute. Now, I'd like to introduce the first speaker of the session, Dr. N. B. Asrifan. He is a lecturer in the Faculty of Teachers Training and Education, UMS Rapang in South Sulawesi, Indonesia. He received his PhD in Language Education, concentration in English Language from the State University of Makassar, South Sulawesi, Indonesia. His research interest is in English language teaching, ESP, linguistics, and technology in education. He has full membership of Himpunan Perijima, Indonesia, Association of Indonesian Translator. He is a member of Laureate Cambridge Online Language Learning Research Network. Now, he is the head of students and alumni affairs of UMS Rapang. He is an editorial board member and re reviewer of some international and national journals. Participants, I request you to ask your questions after the speaker finishes his one hour session. Alternately, you can also write in the chat boxes. Sir, I request you to start the session on a general view on the major components of instructional design. Sir, over to you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. So allow me to share my screen. Yes. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening uh, to all from uh, all over the world. Uh, I'm in honor uh, to be here uh, as uh, a speaker in this wonderful uh, international virtual faculty department program on mastering the craft of teaching organized by the Department of English, uh, Manaf uh, Rakhna India, International Institute of Research and Study, uh, Faradaban uh, Haryana, India, and uh, Kafi Komorin Trust, India, and Lavender uh, Literary Club, India. Uh, in this section, I will uh, share about the, uh, the a general view on the major component of instructional design, especially in I think this one is uh, very uh, wonderful and support uh, uh, the the teaching uh, uh, and uh, the the uh, development and how to develop our uh, instructional material for uh, support our classroom. Uh, let me uh, look here in this slide where. Uh, we can we can see the four uh, different the four different uh, pace of education starting from education 2.0 uh, where uh, the focus on this uh, uh, pace is the teacher center and then in education 2.0 uh, uh, the focus on this uh, section is uh, was the learner as uh, a receptacle of knowledge and then in education 3.0 uh, the core here was a teacher as facilitator uh, the social networking and then we we, we did the collaboration uh, we had also a project and point based learning and then uh, 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 accessing global expertise and then uh, we 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 work uh, uh, through uh, collaborative interactive uh, uh, in the web tool, or wiki, blog, and uh, and and uh, and uh, still many more uh, platform. And then right now, uh, education 4.0, uh, we now uh, learn as a connector, creator, and constructivist. So that's why uh, one of the the very common uh, theory in education come uh, called uh, Blum taxonomy. So the highest uh, triangle is uh, creativity, where 
uh, the learner here as a connector maker, learner as a content producer and sharer, uh, and the web as a curriculum. So uh, a diversity of network, uh, the learner can access to expert, learner as a teacher, and then educator uh, 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 as a uh, resource guided. So uh, this, this, this slide, I think, uh, uh, as our uh, a background where uh, what should we do uh, for the next, uh, especially how to design uh, uh, interesting uh, class or research, especially in uh, our educational sector. So what we will cover today, uh, I divided into four components. So uh, the basic theory, uh, theoretical term of uh, uh, instructional design, in this case, what is the model itself and instructional design, and then educational uh, research and development or uh, research-based development, and some instructional design methodology, and then uh, technology-based approaches of uh, instructional design. Uh, what is uh, the function of uh, research itself? I uh, take this, I cite this uh, a statement from one of the uh, very famous uh, professor in educational uh, research, in education, uh, uh, Professor Sugiono uh, from the State uh, University of Yogyakarta. Uh, he divided uh, research into uh, a three components. Uh, we research because we need to do. We research because we need to know, and then we research because uh, uh, we need to choose. Uh, the research method used uh, in the first uh, type here, uh, we divide it in, into four components. We, uh, we now research uh, and development, or R&D, action research, operational research, and mix. And then in research uh, to now, the research method here, uh, we have a survey, experiment, qualitative, and mix. And then in need to choose here, the research use formative evaluation research and summative evaluation research. Uh, we specify into uh, we research because uh, we need to do in uh, one of the component research methods here, uh, research in development. In research development, uh it's uh, divided into three components uh we researching we, without testing and then not researching uh but testing and then the third level here uh research and test to develop existing product and then uh, uh the highest uh, uh or the fourth type of uh level of research in development called a uh, research and task, we research and we test to create a product that doesn't exist yet. So uh, to make you clear about uh, the, the, uh, the conceptual framework uh, in, 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 in every phase of uh, this uh, level of uh, research and development here, where in level one, we starting from the potential and the problem. And then we take the data from the two uh, component here, uh, the study of literature, and then uh, we combine with uh, uh, instructional gathering. And then uh, we uh, we design uh, the product, and then we have the validation, but internally, so internally, not externally. And then we have uh, tested design. And then uh, in the level two. Uh, we converse from the certain of product, and then we have uh, a study of literature, and then we do uh, three pages of uh, testing, and then uh, we uh, analyze the data from the three states here, uh, and then we compare uh, the result of this test into uh, the standard, and then we have a conclusion. In level three, uh, we, 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 we come first from the research on existing product where we uh, support uh, the data from the two component uh, of uh, 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 supporting uh, uh, 
uh, analysis from the uh, 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 study of literature and the field research. And after that, we 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 plan to product uh, to to develop the product. And then we have internal uh, design testing. Uh, and then uh, we move uh, to design revision, product manufacture, limited trial, product revision one, main uh, field trial, product revision two, operational field trial, product revision three, and uh, the last we have dissemination and implementation. And the last uh, phase of uh, uh, research development uh, in level four, we come first from the potential and the problem. So here we we uh, analyze uh, and uh, 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 take the data from a study of literature and information on the three, uh, both from uh, a need analysis, maybe from a target needs and learning needs. And then after that, we uh, we have the product design or uh, blue, uh, uh, blue clean and then design validation and then design revision, product manufacture, limited trial, revision, uh, product revision one, main field trial, product revision two, operational uh, field, field trial, product revision three, and uh, 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 dissemination and implementation. Level two and uh, level three and level four is quite uh, the same, but uh, the the difference here uh, is in the first uh, step of uh, conceptual of and all the way uh, of, of of the research we have. In level four, we starting from the problem and potential, and level uh, three, we starting from research, research on existing product. So, what is what is the uh, uh, what is the model itself? Uh, model uh, 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 actually uh, uh, is uh, implying a representation of reality presented with a degree of structure and order. And a model are typically uh, idealized and simplified view of reality. And then uh, 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 a model is defined as a, a, a schematic different. Uh, description of a system, uh, a theory, or a phenomenon that account for its noun or uh, inferred properties and may be used for uh, further study of a characteristic. Uh, of, for example, um, uh, um, maybe some of you uh, uh, is in uh, economic the uh, 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 department. And so uh, maybe we, we 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 can design uh, the model of uh, teaching, uh, especially in economic model, instructional uh, a design model in academy in in uh, uh, economy instructional system uh, design model. And then uh, a model can divide it into uh, two kinds. Uh, they are uh, micromorph. Uh, uh, that's about the physical and visual and paramorph that's about the, the verbal uh, description and then paramorph uh, can be categorized as either a conceptual model and uh, procedural model and mathematical model where uh, conce uh, conceptual is uh, more about abstract and theory and then procedural model is about uh, how to perform the tax uh, step by step and the mathematical model is uh, uh, equation which describe the relationship between uh, various components of uh, uh, a situation. And then uh, design. Design is about, uh, 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 can be defined as, uh, as, as in due form, in a function representation of any uh, community or uh, object of uh, utility. And then uh, uh, that means that design is both a process and the product. So that's why uh, uh, in this in this section, so we 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 talk how to design uh, and then uh, how to now the process uh, to uh, to to build or to 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 rise a new product to support especially our uh, uh, education system. So here the brief instruction of instructional design. Instructional designing is uh, uh, if we divide it into two uh, words here, 
The first instructional. Instructional means that a set of events that facilitate a le learning. And then designing is a creative pattern or a rational, logical, sequential uh, process intended to solve the problem. So here we clarify uh, the, 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 the term of uh, both instructional and then uh, design. What is instructional design itself? Instructional design is the a systemic process of translating a general principle of learning and instruction uh, uh, into plan for instructional material and activity. Instructional design is the systemic development. And then uh, uh, it is the entire process of analysis of uh, learning needs and goal and the development of the uh, uh, delivery system to meet those needs. And then it's include development of instructional material and activity and try out an evaluation of all instruction and learner uh, uh, activities. So what is the role of instructional design itself? Uh, uh, instructional designing enable you to identify the performance problem, uh, determine the goal and objective, define your learner and their needs, in this case targets needs and learning needs, develop uh, uh, a strategy to meet needs uh, uh, and goal, and then assess learning outcome and evaluate uh, if goal, objective, and uh, uh, needs are. So why? instructional design so uh, this is because uh, there is a need for training the the learning uh, event are well designed quality training material are developed and the learning event are implemented with strategy or approaches and the learning events are evaluated to ensure that learning has ta uh, taken place so instructional design uh, based on RACER, uh, that's the systemic procedure. So we, we highlighted this one, systemic procedure, which educational and training program are developed and composed aiming at a substantial improvement of learning. <clears throat> Here, the uh, general strategy of instructional design, we have uh, 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 three uh, type of strategy. The first one is organizational strategy. We're concerned with both the growth and detail uh, planning of setting of teaching and learning in order to determine how a course of lessons should be arranged and sequenced. And then delivery strategy is concerned with decision on how information can be transmitted to the target group of learner. And then execution strategy is concerned with decision on a method uh, 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 to assist the learner to deal effectively uh, with instructional uh, material. So uh, we move to the second piece of this uh, uh, presentation uh, about the educational research development or research-based development. I take uh, this uh, definition from uh, some uh, famous uh, book uh, first come from Bolk and Gold uh, in 1983. R&D is a process used to develop and validate education and product. And then uh, uh, in the New Year's one from Gold uh, 2007, uh, research and develop is an industry-based uh, development model in which uh, the finding and research are used to design a new product uh, and the procedure which taken are uh, systematically evaluated and refined in the field and test it until they meet specific, uh, specified criteria of effectiveness, quality, or a similar standard. And uh, 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 the Union's book of Gay in 2009, R&D is a process of research and co consumer and needs and then developing product to fulfill those needs. And then I uh, 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 conclude that, uh, uh, R&D is a systematic uh, activity combining both basic and applied research and aim at discovering solution to problem or creating new goods and uh, knowledge. So here are some instructional uh, design methodology. Uh, first, uh, 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 come from uh, the uh, Larnaca uh, Declaration of Learning Design. 
where uh, in this instructional uh, uh, model uh, in 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 uh, on, on on learning design. So we we, we have uh, uh, five piece where we 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 come first from the challenge where creating learning experience allowing. Uh, to particular pedagogical uh, approach and learning uh, objectives. And then we support uh, the teaching uh, circle here from uh, educational philosophy, uh, theory and methodology, learning environment, and then also level of uh, granularity. And then uh, uh, we, 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 uh, we have in the, uh, in the third phase uh, here, a uh, core uh, co co concept of instructional learning design and then implementation and then learner response or evaluation. <clears throat> Here, there's, uh, there's some step of flexible planning in the field of instructional design. Uh, the component of instructional designing uh, based on this in this in this uh, section, uh, uh, commonly we have uh, a seven pace where we specification of objective and the goal and then we have need assessment, need assessment here, uh, uh, the description of the feature uh, issue of the teaching and learning, uh, the prospective rethinking of action alternative and environment uh, constraint, and uh, the elaboration of uh, a, 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 a cognitive uh, perception for designing and action in sense of uh, anti uh, anticipatory uh, decision making. And then, uh, we, we, we develop of action and their uh, realization, uh, inspection of goal and discipline, and then the last we have uh, extra uh, pollution of uh, planning. Here the general view of the major component of uh, instructional design. Actually, we have a uh, four piece uh, generally. Uh, uh, the first, we analyze the target of the group were uh, divided into two components. The first component is a need analysis. In need analysis, we, uh, we, we, we analyze the organization, or in this case, uh, uh, analyze of uh, resource target needs and learning needs from the learner, uh, uh, and then some uh, stakeholder that can support our data. And then task analysis. Task analysis here about the curriculum, maybe about the uh, lesson, about the the, uh, the uh, assessment project, and then uh, uh, that that uh, uh, and also lesson plan maybe from uh, uh, the the curriculum, and then in next phase uh, we design and develop of learning environment and instructional modeling. So we define the objective and then learning tax and then a teaching strategy and then the delivery system, and then we implement. After that, the last piece, we, uh, we, we do the evaluation or uh, formative uh, uh, evaluation research or summative evaluation research. Uh, here are some instructional design model that uh, were uh, based on this uh, 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 picture that I uh, take from the internet uh, from uh, Rothwell, where uh, the the AD model, uh, AD stands for uh, analysis, design, and development, implementation, and evaluation model is uh, the higher, the highest uh, a model of instructional design, uh, and then uh, followed by uh, Bloom's learning taxonomy, uh, Keith Patrick, and uh, still um, many kind of instructional uh, design model, especially for educational system. So let's come first in uh, DOID model for uh, the designing multimedia environment. Uh, here first, uh, we state the objective and then we analyze uh, the context, the problem, learner and characteristic knowledge, facts and goal. And then we, 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 we combine, there are uh, uh, six components in this uh, process of the research. Uh, decision on the format and then instructional design, a graphic uh, uh, or design like out uh, for uh, material maybe, and then uh, usability testing, motivational design, multimedia design, and the uh, structuring of uh, the content. And then 
in the last last phase here we uh, we have evaluation and then if it, if is it possible so we 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 can move uh, back uh, to to do the uh, revision to support and then uh, uh, some uh, to cover some uh, maybe uh, uh, error or suggestion from uh, some stakeholder and then uh here the dk carry model of instructional design where uh the dk carry here uh starting from uh, uh identifying instructional goal here uh, uh our instructional goal set uh, set out where uh we want to get to and then in in, in dividing uh them uh, we should align with uh, our organization strategic goal and then be clear on what learner will be able to do or uh, uh, how they will behave after uh, our uh, initiative has delivered uh, uh, and focus on real world skill and behavior and then uh, we, we we conduct the instructional analysis here uh, 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 our instructional analysis determine the current state of skill and knowledge in your uh, learning population and 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 uh, through uh, uh, this uh this this, this uh, uh, step and then uh this can be assessed uh, uh through interview uh, survey observation or different form of testing depending on uh, the nature of the uh, of the scheme and then we we write a performance uh, 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 objective or identify uh, uh, entry behavior in this case learner uh, and and the context and then in right performance objective uh, uh, we we should be smart and then uh, uh, should be lay out uh, the tax and processes that must be mastered and how how they will be assessed and then uh, we develop criterion tests or uh, assessment instrument so to monitor and evidence both uh, progress and effective instruction so i think we, 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 we need to uh, develop the criterion a specific test and then this should be on the right format um, uh, and level of your learning population. For example, uh, 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 beginner, uh, uh, intermediate, uh, upper intermediate, uh, advanced. And then we develop instructional strategy. And then uh, uh, this one, uh, 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 how to uh, state our goal, uh, a current state gap, object, and testing approach uh, uh, are should uh, we define uh, in our instructional strategy, and then it should reflect our analysis and uh, uh, use appropriate learning uh, theory. And then we have developed uh, uh, and select instructional material. I think material, tool, exercise, and delivery media should be decided once you have defined your learning uh, uh, strategy and then uh, uh, this may include face-to-face group-based facilitated or online learning material and then uh, uh, develop and conduct a format evaluation so i think uh, this one is uh, 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 the uh, uh, the pace where we we want to know uh, how far uh, the process uh, that we are uh, 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 do and then uh, if it's uh, possible, so we have ongoing uh, revision. So in ongoing revision, I think uh, that that's a continually review and revise uh, throughout our instructional design and development process. That's regularly seeking feedback, I think, and then testing our outcome and uh, 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 literally through stage of uh, our learning product will. I think will 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 help us to ensure uh, our deliver the best possible outcome. And the last, that's uh, the summative uh, evaluation. Summative takes place once you have delivered uh, uh, our initiative and is used to assess how effective it uh, has been. So uh, the next uh, uh, kind of uh, instructional design. Uh, is a three phases of Ghani nine van of instruction. Uh, the nine here is uh, gain attention. That's introduce stimulus to uh, 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 elicit uh, courtesy, and then inform learner of the objective. 
that's the strive, the expected performance, and then stimulate uh, 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 press recall. In this case, recall of of, of concept uh, and rule, and the present learning material that's present example of the concept rule, and then provide guidance uh, of, of for learning that's used for about clue illustration and then elixir performance that's let the learner apply the concept and then provide uh, feedback that's co uh, convene uh, correctness performance and assess performance that test the application and the concept and enhance uh, retention and the transfer that's uh, 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 provide a variety of other application. The next one, we, we, we have a uh, Rothwell Canada's ID model where uh, we have some uh, here and then starting uh, to uh, uh, from uh, conducting or knowing about the uh, the learner uh, analysis uh, or the learner's uh, need assessment. And then uh, we have assess uh, relevant characteristic of learner, analyze characteristic, perform job tasks, write statement, develop performance measurement, sequence performance measurement, specify uh, instructional strategy, design instructional material, and then uh, evaluate instruction. And then uh, uh, next we we have here uh, a CAM uh, designing model. Actually, uh, uh, the CAM model, I think, uh, some, some, sometimes refers to, uh, uh, yeah, based on my reading, uh, this one is the name of uh, 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 the person who, who, who found this uh, this this uh, uh, model that's uh, called uh, uh, CAM, and then uh, it's it has uh, four components: planning, revision, uh, formative evaluation, and, and project ma uh, management. Where uh, 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 this this emphasize that independence of each uh, staff. Uh, in the process with uh, the belief of uh, instructional design is continuous cycle with uh, revision and then being uh, an ongoing process to improve and, and just as need. And then the nine uh, element here in the camp, uh, uh, starting from the uh, 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 determine the specific goal uh, and instructional issue, uh, identify the characteristic and needs, uh, 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 clarify the course content, define the instructional objective, ensure the content for uh, uh, each component, and then design instructional strategy, plan uh, the instructional message, develop uh, uh, the evaluation uh, uh, instrument suitable, and then we choose appropriate resource that will support the teaching and learning uh, uh, activity. Uh, the next is uh, Gerlach early instructional design model, where uh, Gerlach, uh, uh, that's the center focus of uh, uh, this, this, uh, th this model is uh, on a sy systemic planning with equal emphasis of two essential factors of effective teaching, uh, clearly defining teaching goal and the method for reaching each of uh, the, the desired learning outcome. And then uh, 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 that uh, uh, at the end of this process, I think, uh, each of the 10 elements here, uh, defining within uh, 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 some factor, specific content, uh, uh, a specific objective, uh, uh, assessment uh, of interim behavior, determination of strategy, organization group, allocation the time, allocation space, uh, uh, selection resources, evaluation performance, and analysis uh, uh, feedback. Uh, so here the next uh, model, uh, uh, Neven uh, uh, Cascades uh, model. Uh, in this uh, in, in this space, uh, we 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 now the three uh, piece. Uh, 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 the first uh, come from the uh, uh, preliminary research, where we we have to do I think uh, uh, some uh, 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 data of maybe a problem that we have to now uh, some uh, a problem from uh, the population that we are going to uh, to research and then uh, in the process of the research we have three circle here uh, design and then formative evaluation and analysis and the last is uh, summative evaluation 
the next is a uh, uh, steel glass glow model of instructional design. So in this model, the first phase is a uh, uh, neat analysis that includes uh, the establishment of instructional goal, requirement and the context uh, of, of for the course wave. And the next, the instructional phase here begins when neat analysis is completed. And the second phase consists of six activities here. Uh, tax analysis, instructional analysis, objective and tax, formative evaluation, uh, material development, and instructional uh, strategy and delivery system. And uh, uh, all of, 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 of which are linked, and then also of, uh, uh, via uh, uh, feedback and instructional communication channel. And then in, in phase three of the model, uh, uh, in this case, uh, 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 implementation and evaluation, the development and reproduction of material training, uh, delivery, and somatic population are uh, 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 undertaken. So the next is uh, uh, the Smith region model of instructional design, uh, almost the same with uh, uh, previous uh, uh, instruction model uh, that I we uh, that I uh, showed to you all. Uh, where uh, we, 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 we divide it here into three components. Analysis, where we, 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 we take the data from the learning environment, learner and the learning tax, and then the strategy, uh, we, we, we determine the organization strategy, the leader strategy and the management, and in evaluation, we conduct the formative and then revise the instruction. The next is uh, uh, the diamonds model of instructional design of uh, a higher education. Uh, 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 the, the, the underlying assumption here is uh, a political and I uh, think a social issue that existing on the campus or academic uh, department are uh, critical. This is, uh, that's why I underline here uh, in higher education, Diamond's model of instructional design in higher education. This this, this model is uh, 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 very suitable uh, for someone who wants to conduct the research in uh, higher education. And then uh, instructional development is the term effort and which uh, 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 concern with organizational uh, priority and mission. And then there are two pages of design here. In the page, page one, we have uh, uh, a project selection and design, and phase two we have uh, 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 production implementation and implementation. And then the next one is uh, 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 ARCS model, where uh, uh, here uh, A stands for attention, we arouse uh, uh, curiosity and interest, and then R stands for relevance here related to the learner experience and needs material must matter to, to them. And then C is the co uh, uh, confidence that's uh, scout for learner success and minimum tax. And then as this satisfaction, uh, here how to build the learner sense of uh, reinforcement and achievement. And the very famous one uh, from uh, uh, instructional design is the AD uh, framework. AD, uh, it stands for analyze, design, develop, implement, and evaluate. There are some key questions within the AD framework. Who, uh, that's about the target group or the learner, what uh, content to be taught or learned, what for, uh, an instructional goal and learning objective, and why uh, uh, this is about the uh, uh, accountability or need analysis, and then how that's about the instructional strategy and method, and when, uh, this one about the timeline and instruction, and then where uh, this one is about the venue of the learning environment. <clears throat> and then uh, the first one in analyze, analyze, uh, 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 analyze uh, a, a piece uh, uh, can be considered uh, as a goal setting stage, and the focus on the Zener, uh, uh, in, in, and then in this in this space uh, on the target audience. And it's also here uh, uh, that the program matches the level of the skill and intelligence that each student partic uh, participants show. And then uh, this is also ensure that what they already now won't be duplicated. And then the next is design. 
in this in this stage uh this determining i think all the goal and then tool to be used uh to gauge uh performance uh various tests subject matter analysis planning and the resource and then in this uh, uh design the pace uh the focus is on learning objective content subject matter analysis exercise learning planning assessment instrument and then some media selection and then in development in development stage start uh, uh the production and testing of the methodology being used in the project and then in this uh, stage the designer make use of the data collected from the uh, the, 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 the the two uh, flavor stage and use uh, this information to create a program that will relay what needs to be told to part uh, participant and if the two uh, free first uh, stage require planning and brainstorming uh, the, the development state is all about the putting it into action and then this uh, 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 pace include three tags namely uh, 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 drafting uh, uh, production and then uh, evaluation and the last one is uh, 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 implementation so this uh, does reflect uh, the uh, 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 continuous modification of the program to make sure the maximum efficiency and uh, a positive result are obtained. And then uh, uh, evaluation. Evaluation here is uh, the last stage in this uh, model. And then in this stage uh, 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 in which uh, the project is being uh, subjected to uh, uh, meticulous or final testing regarding uh, the what, uh, how, why, when, and the things that were accomplished or not accomplished to enter the project. And then uh, this space can be broken down into uh, a two parts, that's the formative and summative uh, evaluation. That's initial uh, evaluation actually happened during the stage of uh, development. And the formative evaluation happened while the student and uh, uh, instructional designer are conducting the study and the while the summative uh, portion occur at the end of the program and then the main goal of this stage or in this in this in evaluation uh piece i mean that's determine if the goal uh uh, uh have been met and to establish what will be required moving forward in order to to uh, further the efficiency and success uh relate uh our project and then here's some uh, procedure of organization of AD, where in the concept uh, here in analyze, we identify in uh, designing, we verify in development, we generate, in implement, we prepare, in evaluate, we assess. And then some uh, common procedure in every page of uh, this, uh, 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 this uh, 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 instructional model. And then here, uh, uh, the AD framework step uh, of implementation. And then the next is uh, our, our 4C ID. 4C here, learn, uh, learning uh, tax, uh, FAR uh, tax uh, practice, uh, support uh, 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 informative, and then GIT uh, information. <clears throat> okay, so uh, here, uh, uh, uh some a uh, technological based approach of instructional design uh because of time i just uh, will uh, uh show you the the the, 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 the some uh, common uh, uh model uh, uh the sometime designers actually in uh, technology uh, field uh, use this uh, this uh, this one uh the the first we have id expert uh, basic architecture and uh, the transitional shell, and then we have also PI, PE, uh, uh, A net or process uh, entity activity network, where we we have IDE, uh, the instructional design environment, and then uh, here uh, recursive uh, uh, reflective design and development model. Uh, and then we have a triple P instructional design model of the center of uh, faculty uh, development of uh, Winsau, uh, uh, uh University of Languages uh, in Taiwan. 
uh, Fusion model of instructional design, and then Conic and Riddle instructional model, Berlin model of uh, didactic, uh, a class key uh, concept of uh, a critical uh, constructive deductive, and then we now also supply and use model of instruction, uh, and then backward design model, and then nature model. Uh, this this model I use uh, when I was in a doctoral degree uh, 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 to to designing the instructional design instructional material for uh, uh, educational technology department in uh, Indonesia. So uh, where in this in this uh, model we start from we analyze the learner. So. Uh, in this case, uh, who is the audience? And then uh, state the objective, select method and media or material, and utilize the media material. And we require uh, learn the participant, and then have uh, at the end of the semester we have evaluate and uh, revise. <clears throat> so the last uh, is uh, step in general. Uh, here, the step of a system approach model of educational research and development based on goal, George and Ball, 2007. Uh, this is the general step. Uh, we have, uh, we, we, well, we now uh, uh, here, uh, there are 10 steps where uh, starting from uh, identify the instructional uh, 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 goal, where uh, in this, in this, in this, in this uh, step. We determine what the new information and skill that we want to learn to have master when they have completed uh, our instruction and express uh, uh, as a goal. An instructional goal uh, may be uh, uh, derived from the list of the goal, from the performance analysis, and then from the need assessment, uh, from the practical uh, 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 experience uh, with the learning difficult of the student, from the analysis of the people who are doing the job, uh, or from uh, some. Uh, other requirement uh, for uh, new instruction, and then we conduct uh, 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 analysis here, uh, uh, where uh, we have identified the instruction goal, and then we determine the step by step what the people are doing when they perform uh, that goal, and also look uh, at a sub skill, and then that are uh, need for the complete master of the goal, and then we uh, analyze the learner uh, and the context. In uh, addition to analyze uh, the, the instruction and goal, there is a parallel uh, analysis of the learner, the context in which they, they will learn uh, uh, the skill and the context in which they will use them. And then in, we, we, we write the proposed objective based on uh, the instruction analysis and uh, the, the, the description of entry skill. And then we, we write uh, a specific statement and what learner will be able to do when they complete the instruction. And then this statement derived from the skill identify in instructional analysis, and then identify the skill to be learned. And, and then uh, uh, the, the condition under which uh, 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 the skill will be uh, demon, uh, demonstrated and the criteria uh, for the successful performance. And then we develop assessment instrument here based the objective uh, that we have uh, written and the develop, uh, 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 I mean, that uh, 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 develop the assessment that are parallel to, to, uh, to, to measure and then learn ability to perform what, uh, what we describe uh, in uh, the objective. And then uh, we develop instructional strategy based on information from the five uh, preceding step, we then identify the strategy they use in the instructional to achieve the goal. And the strategy will emphasize the component to, to, to poster the student learning, uh, including such uh, uh, pre-instructional activity as stimulating, motivating, and focusing intention, presentation, and new content with example and demonstration, active learner, uh, participant, and assessment and uh, 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 follow through activity that relate the newly uh, uh, le uh, learned skill and uh, real, uh, real world application. And then we, we develop and select instructional material 
in this step we use uh, our instructional strategy to produce instruction and then this typical include uh, guidance for the learner instructional material and assessment and then uh, we design and conduct formative evaluation instruction following the uh, uh, the, the the conclusion uh, of the draft of the instruction and the same evaluation is conducted uh, to, to collect the data uh, used from uh, 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 to to, uh, to to identify the problem with the instructional uh, or opportunity to make the uh, instructional beta and then we have revised instruction in this uh, uh, ninth uh, uh, step uh, uh, we 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 uh, we repeat uh, a circle uh, and then the data from the formative evaluation are summarized and integrated uh, to identify the difficulty experienced by the learner in achieving the objective and to relate this difficult to to, to specific uh, 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 of instruction. And uh, the last is design and uh, uh, conduct the summative evaluation. Uh, although uh, summative evaluation is uh, 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 is the uh, 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 culminating uh, evaluation of the uh, effectiveness of instruction, I think, is uh, generally is in a part of uh, a design portion. It is an evaluation to, uh, to, uh, uh, of the uh, absolute or uh, relative uh, value of the instruction and occur uh, only after the instruction has been formatively and a summative evaluation. And then the, the, that's uh, uh, a procedure used for summative evaluation are uh, uh, receiving more attention, uh, and then uh, and then it 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 it, it must be uh, uh, increased uh, uh, attention. Uh, I think uh, that's enough uh, for my uh, presentation uh, today, and then uh, thank you so much for. Uh, this uh, wonderful uh, 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 invitation and uh, good evening. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, we have some questions popping up. Uh, we have Dr. Gulshan Akhtar, uh, yeah. sir, who wants to uh, know which model is best for economic analysis. Which is the best model for economic analysis? Okay. I think uh, uh, for uh, the the model of uh, recent in development is commonly all, uh, all, almost the same. Uh, the last the last uh, slide I uh, I I show you. Normally we have a ten step. Uh, in the, in 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 educational uh, in 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 research and development, not, not only in educational sector. Uh, starting from we identify uh, the instructional or the goal, and then we conduct the instructional analysis. We analyze uh, the customer maybe, and then we write performance of the objective, and then we assess instrument. For example, in economy uh, 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 environment, we want to design the model of. Uh, 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 the model of economy that can support our, uh, for example, customer that can uh, can uh, motivate the customer come to to buy in our institution. For example, uh, I think that this 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 uh, model uh, there are many models that I show you. Uh, that's not only for educational uh, uh, sector but also for all. Uh, for IT, for economy, for education, for I think uh, for politic, uh, social, and uh, sciences. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, okay, it, so it can answer. Another, so we have another question from Guru Sandhu. Uh, he, uh, the person has asked, what steps can be used to create an uh, instructional model for teaching languages? Okay. Uh, especially for teaching languages. Uh, based on my experience, I think uh, the the model that I show you is is uh, uh, are uh, suitable to be used uh, uh, where we are. So uh, based on my experience, when I designed uh, the material uh, bilingual based approach 
uh, for my uh, uh, research in dissertation uh, in dissertation for a doctoral degree i use uh, a sure i think ad ad can be uh, uh, used to to support our uh, 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 research uh, in 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 my doctoral degree, I apply Assure. Assure is then for uh, analyze state objective, select method, media material, utilize media material required, learn participant, and evaluate and revise. Uh, why I use Assure here? Because uh, uh, Assure uh, is uh, uh, can support uh, 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 technology. So, because I include the technology uh, to support my bilingual uh, uh, approach uh, for uh, for uh, supporting uh, the, the teaching and learning material in education technology partners, so I, I apply uh, sure. So uh, I think there are there are many. It it depends on uh, 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 a situation and it depend on environment. Uh, that we will face uh, or apply for our research. Thank you. Okay, we have another question from Dinkangami Devi. Uh, she has asked, you have given different models and designs. How can one decide which one is best with its strategy in framing curriculum? Is there any mixed method? Okay, special for uh, how to design in the curriculum. I think uh based on the data that i take from place why i uh yeah uh the instructional design model uh the free first slide uh how often you do use the following model based uh this 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 uh uh re research based on the rothwell uh in uh, 2015 where addy model uh, is uh, the very uh, come use from the resources around the world. Uh, this model uh, not only uh, use uh, for the educational uh, uh, system, but also for all uh, 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 environment, uh, uh, history, uh, sciences, uh, and then uh, social science. And then for the curriculum, I think uh, uh, it can we we have to look uh, in 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 what level. And then if, if we uh, in uh, the higher education, I think uh, uh, I suggest to uh, to use uh, a diamond uh, model of instructional design. Uh, diamond, I think uh, the last uh, uh, slide I uh, show you, we have uh, two pieces. Uh, the phase one is called uh, a project selection and design, and then the phase two we call uh, uh, the process of a uh, 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 production implementation and evaluation for each unit. Thank you. You are in unmute their mom. <laughs> you still unmute. Okay, sorry, I was on yeah. mute. Uh, Santosh, <laughs> Santosh Singh has asked uh, if the use of different instructional design models based on the curriculum framework implemented in a particular country or according to the needs and requirements according to need so because uh, in 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 the, uh, taking the data uh, uh, for all the model we uh, we come first from a need analysis or need assessment so in this piece uh, we uh, 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 we have to now uh, the target needs and the learning needs the target needs is talking about uh, the, uh, the 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 learner itself and then the learning needs is uh, talking about the curriculum that uh, apply in uh, that institution okay thank you so much for answering thank our you thank and you. we have a lot of appreciation coming your way a lot of people have appreciated they have said it's very informative they really thank love you thank questions. you so much
so there's a huge list of uh, your fans which have you know constantly uh, cheered you throughout the session and thank you so much for such thank a you, wonderful thank you thank you thank you so much for all thank you